We know that there are lots of ways to create records in CRM for Dynamics 365. Of course, the simplest and the most traditional way of doing it is to enter a record manually. Besides that, you can have a tweet that's been tweeted to you to become a record in CRM. Any website submission that you have can go straight into CRM and become a lead or a contact or something. Um, anything that's emailed to you can also become a lead or a case or any other record that you want, right? Did you know though that now you can start creating records by pushing physical buttons? So this right here is called a flick. Okay, so it's a physical button. Uh, it's, a, it's a smart button actually that connects to various services uh, like Uber or you know your, your smart bulbs around your house uh, and even now Microsoft Flow. Okay, so by pressing this button right here, I can actually create a record in CRM using Microsoft Flow, all right? So let's really quickly look at a simple example. Uh, and for that, I'm gonna shrink myself here. We go, and we go here. Okay, so what I have here is, uh, is my cases, right? And the scenario that we're looking at is that we have given a physical button like this to all of our clients. Okay, and whenever they have an issue uh, with our product or our service, instead of getting on the phone with us, they can just press this button, which will alert us by creating a case in CRM, and then our staff can just call them back. So they don't have to be on the phone with us. They don't have to have anxiety for, you know, like connecting to us. They can just keep doing what they're doing. They can be probably troubleshooting the, the problem that's there. And... Uh, and, and rest assured that it's us who will call them back and help them solve the issue, okay? So so let's look at this first, all right? So these are my cases in CRM for Dynamics 365. Uh, these are all of my active cases right now, and we can see that, um, let me just quickly close this up. All right, so, uh, you know, we don't have, the last case that was created was on 4.4, and the time now is 7.47 a.m., and now what I'll do is I will press this button right here, okay? And I go, I don't know if you heard that sound, it, it came from my phone, okay? So it basically means that the click happened, right? And let's give it a few seconds now and uh, see if we have something here. Boom, look at that. So we now have a new case and it originated from a flick, okay? And we also know who the customer is. So now uh, my staff can start working on this case and you know they can call Alpine Ski House and see what's going on and make sure that they provide res resolution. Now, how did I do this? So I, I, for, in order for this to happen, I created a Microsoft Flow, okay? And again, it's a very easy process here. Uh, and of course, this is a very simple example, right? But you can have as many uh, complicated flows as, as you want. Uh, but here, we're, what we're looking at is uh, my my trigger here is when a flick is pressed, okay? And uh, uh, that's the only thing I have to choose here. And then based on that, what I'm doing is I'm creating a new record in Dynamics 365, all right? And this is where I set up what exactly I want in my record. And, you know, I'm mentioning that I want this to be a case. I want this to be a case title, you know, so this is the case title, right? And I've also en entered who the customer is, right? Because the, the customer is very specific to the button because each customer has their own uh, uh, flick button, right? So, and, and just to, uh, just so you know, you need to enter the GUID of the account um, here in the flow, okay? And, uh, you know, I have set the origin, so this is the value of the, the drop down the option uh, set up uh, value. And then, uh, yeah, if I want, I can set other fields here as well. And once I'm done, I just save it and it's good to go. The, the other thing that you have to do is in your phone on the Flick app, and I don't know how visible this would be, but uh, let's see if you can see it. Uh, but basically in your phone, Flick app, you have to tell it that on a click, it should trigger a Microsoft Flow, okay? And that's when, when you press your this Flick button, it uh, it will trigger the flow 
that's associated with a click, if that makes sense. All right, and that's it actually. Uh, so uh, whenever you, whenever you or your customer presses or clicks this button, it will trigger a flow in Microsoft Flow. And this, this can actually uh, uh, have not just a click, but it can also have a double click and a hold. So for each of those presses or actions, you can have you know, various flows uh, triggering in the background. Uh, so yeah, uh, I hope this made sense. Now, who is this useful for, right? So now, like I said, it can be, you can give this to all of your clients. So as and when they have a question or uh, 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 complaint, they can just press this button and it'll create a case. Now, let's say you run a little, a, a small restaurant or a coffee shop and you see that you're running low on your coffee bean supply or your, you know, some beverages or ketchup or whatever. And instead of going to the computer and emailing your vendor uh, or your supplier uh, or, you know, creating something in CRM manually, you just press this button, which will, you know, either create a record in CRM or it will send an email to your supplier uh, and, and do certain other actions as well. Also imagine you're a roofing company and, you know, your staff is up on the roof fixing uh, things, right? And uh, as soon as they're done, they can just press this button, which will create a record in CRM so that your office staff knows that, you know, the job has been done and then they can start the rest of the paperwork or they can uh, perform any other action that's needed and just quicken up the whole process, right? So we are not really waiting for that person to come down from the roof and then open their CRM, enter information, and then someone get else gets notified. It's all very, very quick and uh, just saves a lot of time and just makes you more efficient and productive. I hope this helped. Uh, this was, of course, uh, an extremely simple example, but just know that through Microsoft Flow, you can have all sorts of complex, uh, you know, workflows going on, right? And uh, you can use something like a flick to trigger those flows. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.